Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to a weekend in Margaret River, WA. Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. I have a cheeky little kookaburra just up at the top there. Um, I thought I would do a video of a two day itinerary for Margaret River. Um, oh, there's parakeets as well. We yeah have literally two days here. It's Friday, no, Saturday morning. Um, we drove down yesterday after I finished work, which is manageable. It's about a three and a bit hour drive um, from Fremantle. So manageable but not ideal so definitely would recommend leaving earlier in the day if you can do but yeah we've got a beautiful kind of cabiny room in the woods i cannot believe that the kookaburra is literally just there he's so cute and then today i will take you along for what we end up doing it's going to be a bit random bit of a mishmash um but i feel like we're going to so we've got um my fiance's family staying um just for a few days so we feel like we've picked out like the main few attractions or giving them a taste of everything so yeah hopefully it will be a lovely weekend and i'm gonna go because <laughs> jake's little sister desperately wants to see the cookbook so once we were up dressed ready and out the house we headed into margaret river township um to margaret river bakery which is an absolutely amazing spot it's such a nice vibe um and they have absolutely heaps of choice um so we each got a coffee went absolutely crazy on the pastries and i picked up a salad for lunch and this incredible croissant which is bacon avocado egg hollandaise sauce if you go there you have to try this i absolutely love it we then took a drive 30 minutes down south to Hamlin Bay, which is just the most beautiful, beautiful beach. Absolutely gorgeous white sands and blue sea. It's stunning, but the main attraction here is the stingrays. It's got a large population of stingrays, which can very frequently be seen swimming in the shallows, and they are just so amazing to see. There are so many of them. Uh, you quite often see some of the local fishermen feeding them um, various offcuts of fish and you can get really quite close to them but definitely be careful of their barbed tails. Um, yeah, you don't want to be getting hit by those. Hello, I thought I would quickly check in with you. So we've obviously had a beautiful morning at Hamlin Bay. Um, nipped back to hours to just freshen up um, and had a cup of tea and a bit of lunch. And now we are heading to winery. So we're at the first one now, which is Howard Park. There's actually an event on, so we're just gonna nip in and do a little wine tasting. So here at Howard Park, we did a wine tasting and then we headed to the next winery on our list, which was Vas Felix. And here we took a bit more of a casual approach to it. So we sat down on the lawns and we did wine tasting flights with a cheese board, which was stunning. For the evening meal, we headed to Swings and Roundabouts in the township for pizzas and got an early night. <laughs> Because we had to get up and out relatively early for a 45 minute drive up north to Meelup Farmhouse. Now, a bit of a trek from Margaret River Township, but it is so worth the journey. The most stunning little farmhouse restaurant brunch spot with a farm and it is just like nothing else I've ever been to. The food there is incredible. I had the char siri pork with scrambled eggs. Jake went for a sweet potato flatbread piled high with veggies. And then we finished off with some orange and poppy seed pancakes. They were incredible. They also have a little farm area, hence the name. So the chickens, the alpacas, there is a long haired cow, I'm told never actually seen it, a Highland cow.
And on site as well, on next door, there is also Wise Winery in case you still have a bit of a penchant for some wine. We then headed over to Mila Beach, which was just a probably three minute drive down the road and the perfect place to, you know, stave off your food coma and just completely chill out, soak up the sun rays, go for a paddle in the sea. There is a really cute picnic spot here as well, so a really good spot to have a little spot of lunch. And then, unfortunately, it started absolutely tipping it down out of nowhere. So we took that as our uh, sign to leave. So thank you so much for joining me for this 48 hours in Margaret River. And I hope you have the best time ever if you go. See you next time.